Um, as a Palestinian living in the occupied territories, um, my life is always on the line. The murdering, the arrests, the the beating of peaceful protesters that um, are protesting on a weekly basis in my village. Um, so that was uh, the point where I decided that I had uh, seen enough in my life. So um, I held my mother's phone during one of the Fridays, which we organized um, weekly protests during these Fridays. I uh, recorded whatever was happening. Um, I, as a 7 or a 12 or even a 17-year-old child, should not be um, experiencing any of that. I should not be thinking of what next struggle do I um, want to cover. Uh, instead of that, I should be living my childhood. I mean, I loved playing soccer. I remember I wanted to become a soccer player. It's a positive thing that I was um, privileged enough to have a voice to have a platform and to be able to send a message that so many people were not able to send. Send the message that is not the message of Jenna alone, but the message of every single child who's living uh, under a form of uh, oppressive system, either if it's poverty, um, fascism, any form of um, uh, injustice around the world is something that I try to represent. And what should be done is for more young people to speak up because um, it's not something um, good from you to do. It's a duty and it's something that's required from any human who still has humanity.